What a brilliant idea to be able to see who's at your front door and speak to them on your mobile phone before opening it. This review is my personal experience of the Ring Doorbell 2, which I got in the Black Friday sale at a very good price. From the moment you open the box, you can see this product oozes quality. And the people at Ring have thought of everything, whether it's a new installation or replacing an existing doorbell. Included in the pack are mounting plates to enable the correct angle to be achieved when replacing an existing doorbell. And for a new installation, there are mounting screws, wall anchors for brick, a drill bit, a screwdriver, and even a spirit level to make sure it's mounted true. Once out of the box, the first thing to do is to charge the battery. And yes, there's a USB lead included for this. Initial charging took the best part of 10 hours. With the battery fully charged, the next thing was to register and set up the device. This needs to be done before fixing to the wall. With the Ring app now on my phone, the first thing was to scan a barcode on the base of the device. Next, the address to which the device was to be registered. And this is where my problems began. I started to enter my address and a list came up and there was my address, so I clicked on it. Over the next page, it gave me the option to confirm or edit and the address showing was not the one I just clicked on. So I clicked on edit and entered my address manually. Over the page, confirm or edit and the address showing was not my address. Anyway, after repeating this procedure a few times, I gave up and rang the 24-7 helpline. I spoke to a very polite young lady somewhere in the world and I did explain that the road I lived in had only been in existence for a few years. Over the next two hours, with me paying for the call, we tried every conceivable method of entering my address, all to no avail. Finally, to proceed with the setup, I had to enter another address in a nearby road. Bearing in mind, this is sold as a security product. I was advised to keep a lookout for software updates. And I'm pleased to say that after some months, the correct address has now been registered. With the device installed and set up, a quick look at the device health in the settings menu. Here, the received signal strength indicator was showing poor, probably due to the front door being as far away from a router as possible. However, all the other Wi-Fi stuff in the house works okay. To overcome this problem, the Wi-Fi had to be upgraded to a new router and mesh repeater hidden on top of a cabinet. So the Black Friday bargain wasn't as good as I thought. The doorbell is now operating and controlled via the app. The motion and ring alerts can be switched on and off as required. There's a snooze button to disable the motion alerts for selected amount of time various times of the day. The distance from the doorbell plus zones left, right and center can be selected. So when anyone enters the zone, a notification is sent to your phone, giving you the opportunity to see and speak to them. There is a choice of ringtones for when the doorbell is pressed and motion activations. I have a chime for the doorbell and barking dogs for motion alerts. My one criticism is the amount of delay before activation kicks in, after which the phone has to be unlocked 
and the ring app opened before you can see who's there. Sometimes this can take up to a minute or so. This is the one point of operation not shown on the TV ad. Here I'm testing the motion zones by walking towards the front door. I'm now able to touch the front door. Now let's have a look into the window. There's the barking dogs, motion alert. Here's a 30 second clip I've downloaded of a guy delivering junk mail. As you can see, he's at the door before the recording starts. And for much of the 30 seconds, well, he's gone. This was a similar situation when the doorbell was pressed. Ring have attempted to address this problem by bringing out a new app, Ring Rapid. This is a stripped down version of the main Ring app, so there's no choosing the ringtone or motion zones, or many of the other useful features. These have to be set on the main app, which is still required. So now to test the doorbell. There's the notification. Unlock the phone. Tap the Ring Rapid app. Tap the viewing button. And answer. Hello. Why has it taken you so long? And that just took 17 seconds. Not bad. But just be aware. For this test, I knew the bell was going to ring. I didn't have to fumble to get the phone out of my pocket or remember where I'd left it. So, in general use, things will take a little bit longer. To sum up, the Ring Doorbell 2 is a well-made product. Yes, it's good, but not fantastic. There is room for improvement. Ring Doorbell 3 is coming out soon, so I'll be interested to see if any of the shortcomings on Ring Doorbell 2 have been addressed. If you found my experience of the Ring Doorbell 2 useful, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. So until the next time, thanks for watching.